Some people seem to be born leaders, but good leadership is a skill which can be learned. These experts tell us what they see as the most important traits of effective leaders in health IT. If, if you're gonna lead these groups, there are some characteristics that, that will serve you well. Uh, one, you have to um, be good at relationship building and you really need to have everybody at the table. I think you have to have patience. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging, especially, you know, you have clinicians who have been doing the same thing for 20 years and they don't want to change. And sometimes you have to be a little patient and, and work through them as they work through these, this process and, and, and come to accept that, that some changes are going to have to take place. So you can't just you know, push through on your own timeline, your own agenda. Sometimes you have to, to, uh, to, to take a little bit extra time to, to explain the rationale for things. You have to have good organizational skills. Uh, we have a lot of competing interests. We have a lot of folks that would like to do different things in the, uh, in the system. Uh, but we have uh, finite resources and you have to prioritize uh, your wants and make sure you're addressing your needs. You can have a great vision, but if you can't communicate it to the staff and get them excited and motivated and engaged about it, and if you can't get the end users excited and motivated about what we are going to be doing together with healthcare IT, then the vision by itself doesn't get you where you need to be. So I really think good communicators, good motivators, and good collaboration are key. Over the last decade or so, IT leadership has changed dramatically, and I believe the biggest change is now our leaders in IT have to be great communicators because they, at the organization level, their input is valued so dramatically that they have to be able to communicate not only the technical side of it, but how it fits into the organization and achieves the goals. I think for leaders, uh, qualities that are very important and things I've witnessed in my leadership is the understanding that you have to value everyone's opinions and their points of view and be a little flexible. can't be transigent in knowing that you have this pressure to deliver this this quality information and the integrity of it, you can't, you have to be flexible in how you can deliver that and be open to new ideas and be very innovative and creative in delivering that information. So the qualities for making you an effective leader would be that ability to really respect others um, as well as respecting yourself so that you're clear where you're coming from and what, who it is you're working with and dealing with and making sure, A, that you establish that credibility and respect with them while also uh, maintaining a respect for um, everyone that, that you work with. One reason I've been in healthcare so long is that our work has impact. Uh, you know, we, we work in an industry where the fruits of our labor translate into doctors and nurses and providers being able to take better care of patients and it has a real impact on people's lives. Well on the subject of creativity um, we often have more demand than we can possibly fulfill. We don't have all the resources we always need to fulfill everyone's wishes and they're all great ideas. Uh, people have ideas in terms of how to put interventions in the electronic medical record or uh, other kinds of uh, primary care or acute care systems they'd like to implement. We have to be creative at saying no, and I know that that's not a fun part of the job, but we've got to really be principled and we've got to keep focused on uh, what we can do with our resources, and that requires a lot of creativity. Sometimes it means spreading yourself and going wide, other times it means mobilizing and going deep on something, and that does take a lot of creativity. Oftentimes you'll ask people to uh, hey, forget about what you've been doing for a while. We're going to mobilize around this and do it quickly. That actually takes quite a bit of creativity to uh, get everyone's buy-in. Now, managing an implementation or any complicated project, um, I know this sounds trite, but it's communication. And it is, I, I cannot tell you, I feel like I could spend all day communicating and I still go home not realizing I haven't communicated enough. I think the more you share with people, where things are at, what the challenges are, what the risks are, what the dependencies are. The more you do spend the time and invest the time in doing that, the more you'll get buy-in and you'll get people to sort of understand what's going on and things will move forward more successfully. I think one of the mistakes people can make sometimes is to assume that if you've um, that there's a standard way of doing things and that you don't have to adjust the standard. I, I think it's good to have a 
a template or a starting point, but then I think you should expect when you go into an organization that you're going to need to listen, listen a lot, and then figure out how to take your standard approach and adapt it and, and, and customize it to a certain extent to be effective with this organization. From what I've seen in my own experience from our CIO is visibility, flexibility, not just saying no to requests, looking for opportunities and fixes when possible. Communication is critical, not just with high-level leadership, but with the, the doctors on the ground. And uh, our leadership is very visible at many of our physician meetings, at many high-level meetings. During our go-lives, she is everywhere rounding in the clinic. Leading by email or leading, leading by edict is going to fail very quickly. Being an effective health IT leader is similar to leading in many other fields. It requires flexibility, creativity, and respecting others and yourself. You can demonstrate that respect by building relationships with those who will be affected by the change. Involve others in the planning, listen to them, and be visible and available. You will need to prioritize, and sometimes the answer has to be that something cannot be done. But as you heard in this video, the most important thing is to communicate, communicate, communicate.